Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to session number six of my Brutal Age of Wonders playthrough for the Fallen Kingdom map on the open beta of the Watcher patch. So, today it is time for war. We clearly have cleaned out our turf here as good as we possibly could. I have forgotten to claim Silver Pond. Maybe I should do that now. Yeah, we probably do that before we declare war on the on the mole people. And then, well, the mole people are currently rank 2 in the overall ranking of all players. I mean, that means if we take these guys out successfully, we have already taken out the most powerful non-story AI. Hey, that's a good one, isn't it? So, let's see where this will take us. So, uh, well, do I do... Yeah, one reroll, come on. Yeah, there we go. Revolus Heart, that's the one that I'm after. And after that, we're deep in the realm of tier 3 tomes. So, the Silver Pond is not really too interesting, but we have fairies that we can recruit via the Rally of the Leashes, and most importantly, 5 Imperium Income. I haven't even found any time so far to upgrade my my Wizard's Tower. It's about time to do that. So, what do we hear? Um, yeah, let's try that. Are we lucky for once? Nah. <laughs> Yeah, well, whatever. Ah, uh, we should be fine. I'm not gonna auto-resolve that, because, you know, I don't trust this anymore. I'm I'm done with trusting the AI on these matters. And, um, well, there's another Silver Wonder around the corner that I could also pilfer, but I don't want to backtrack that hard. I think we are already, um... Heavily enough in the backbreaking territory. So let's let these uh, ice elemental blokes come on in. And let's see. We got a tier 3, two tier 3 units. So these guys are the most dangerous of the whole flock. We can, though, cough some webs into their face. That's pretty good. So we got tier 2 ice witches. So that means when these guys close on in, we have a lot of frozen units. Our spidersies, they can close on in here as well, but not after, uh, not before we have uh, coughed our webs in there. So spell casting wise, I I really want to try out that amplification pylon now because I is it now boosting summons or is it not? So. What does it do now? Spell Amplification. No tactical spells deal 50% more damage. That's what it does now. Alright, so not really too effective for the time being. Just wanted to try out what it actually does because I only knew anymore in the back of my mind that it has been changed. <laughs> but that's that. So we cannot spit here, but there's another spitty spit. I love this, come on, we got now, we hammered in already so much damage on these, and the front most of them is immobilized, beautiful, just what I like to see. We're going to set the vampire spider hatchling here, just um, harmlessly in front of the situation, just to make sure that nobody accidentally is capable of closing on in on our dudes, put a sundering curse on the strong one here and put the Vampire Spider Matriarch into position. I think that's okay. Yeah, of course, they do their thing here and get into the back line. It's what they're made for, after all. But we we disabled one of the Tier 3 blokes good enough. I mean, that's a good stuff, isn't it? So, since I have now an amplification pylon down, I, <laughs> I somehow feel obliged to do this. It's it's not a wise choice. I shouldn't have done this, actually. But, well, whatever. So I, I stepped here sideways to pin the um, battle mages so they can get one attack less off. You know, it's the little things. They matter. They do. And battle mages, they hate having somebody in their faces. That's just uh, the, end of the, the end of the story. Oh, I... Somehow underestimated their damage there. Not bad. Ah, oh, that was so unnecessary. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, whatever. That was...
was very, very unnecessary of mine. Hmm. Yeah, the crits, man. The crits. So now we have a battlefield-wide effect. Yeah, so one of my tier 1 archers got, uh, got beaten up quite heavily. That's okay. That's totally okay. We gained now... What do we gain? Frost shield, gold. Give me gold. Give me the gold, man. No second thoughts. Give me the money. <laughs> These days, I'm, I'm all down for the money. So, we can therefore recruit ourselves skulls. Mm, top notch. Let's make that two of them. Now, let's see. Probably I can finally produce something again in my cities, which is actually useful. So, let's see. We're, we're going to go for the wizard tower now, you know, obvious reasons. And, uh, let's see. Underground lab? Gives me gold and research versus academy. Nah, let's take the academy. Oh, I love I love just uh, forgetting chronically um, applying my unit enchantments like this. I always do this. I don't know why, but it happens to me so darn often. Anyways, so I don't want to pick up too many points here right now. Because I want to acquire a city ASAP, so. Okay, the other dudes here, they're uh, they're just hanging out here in front of Gold Bank. And uh, we're, we're going to commence the siege very soon, I think. Alright. So as far as things could go good, this went down good. Alright, so let's see how absolutely horrible the situation will be when I'll when I'm starting to attack these guys. Free city can be integrated. Oh yeah, that's what I've been waiting for. And you see, it does cost quite a substantial amount of Imperium. That's why I didn't buy any of these juicy juicy skills there. Well, you guys, uh, you, you guys do you. I, I really don't want to be uh, bothered with this. <laughs> no, seriously. I'm okay with that. So, we got ourselves another hero. A level 8 hero. So, I'll be, I'll be equipping this hero now behind the scenes slowly with a second doom stack. As far as I can afford it, that is. But the basic idea is that, you know, it is always good to have a second army somewhere hanging around. It's just always like that. So I'm saving up mana now for Revel's Heart, because we totally want to cast that as soon as we can. And, uh, well, I still got some money left that I didn't invest into troops yet. So, well... I think I'm going to bite the bullet and build me a blacksmith down here. Mainly because I know that I want to churn out troops here still. So. But I think we are we are now at a pretty decent spot with those three cities and all. Alright, so let's start. Or well well no, we're we're not going to start until I have my money together because of the uh, siege projects that we need to commence there so let's see um seriously that's all you get there that's uh that's an inferno hound disappointing we're going to replace that asap but i think with a supporter and not with another ranged unit i don't think this is a wise choice so didn't we have a Fury in here, or did I already... Ah, here. So, this guy is really strong and all, but I'm going to prefer to have a... a Warlock in here instead. 
so we're going to do this. That fella doesn't... Does he have still movement points? Yes, he does. Brilliant. So we do this and we do that while my money is replenishing. That's pretty good. Since you can only start siege projects at the beginning of a siege, I think it's super important to have some uh, some pennies in your pocket for that. And then we'll see how terrible <laughs> these comets will be. So, obtain Fire Forge Stone. Oh, look at that. It's just around the corner for a lock soul. Beautiful. I love it when things work out like that. So, let's see. We're going to bring this guy down here. Look at that. We're starting to, to, to amass an army. <laughs> Hardly worth calling it that like that, but whatever. Trespass! War! It's... It's an unjust war? Are you kidding me? A few turns before, this was an... This was a justified war. No! Oh, well, whatever. I don't care. Give me the Imperium uh, penalty. You guys don't get to explain to me what's a justified war and what's not. Ugh. Well, alright. So, we could go for a headlong assault here, but uh, actually, I don't. Let's see, can we do it like that? Jeez, I don't have enough money right now. Ugh. Can I... Can I sell some remains? <laughs> awesome. Okay, so... You know, it sucks to have not enough points together. Oh, are you are you serious, folks? We really need a plus three for that. Oh, no. Damn it. All right, whatever. So we're going to harass the defenders instead or... Nah. Nah. I want to break those battlements because I don't want them to have these... Okay, so yeah, we're uh, going to have some hardcore standing in front of a city now. Uh-huh. That's what I'm doing now. So, jokes aside, we're summoning now stupid amounts of doom stacks, and I will now see whether or not I am capable of destroying this AI army or not. So, we'll see about that. I mean, there is the possibility travel back a few turns in time and delay the warfare a little bit but uh, i don't see what we would be gaining by that except for probably um some tier three spell but i mean the biggest thing that we can and will gain is um what's it called again is the ability to summon bigger animals and some animal unit enchantments will be uh, in there soon as well. But I mean, we got to pay for these after all. Yeah, here, here, here come the doom stack. So it's officially a risky battle. So the worst part that I see about this one is that we're facing five freaking heroes in this army. So this is the major problem there. We got nothing too bursty on their side. It's just a big glob of resilience. So, let's see what auto combat would do. I don't think it's worth it to resolve that via auto combat, but I just want to give auto combat a chance. So, let's see. We lost a couple of archers. Well, I don't want to lose archers. If I want to lose anything, then low quality um, animal units that I can't just quickly replace. It's it's bad to to lose archers. But let's see what we can do here. Actually, I I want to see how this will play out when I play it. So finally, guys, we're uh, we're we're at the exciting parts of the game. I I hope you guys are are as hyped as I am. I love it when the uh, when the big battles come, you know, when you got all these huge army stacks, and, uh, it's just something else.
The rest of the game, I feel always like I'm I'm merely preparing for this phase of the game. This is like the, the major attraction of the game. I don't know how you guys see it. Feel free to drop me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. So the first thing that I'll do is I'm getting myself into a pretty aggressive posture. So whatever the enemy does, they don't get to um, be too far away from me now. It's amazing how much pressure you can exert with all those spider troops. Mostly because, you know, they just have so much movement. That's amazing. Alright. This build is made to be stupidly strong, by the way. It doesn't it didn't see it didn't look like much before, mostly because in the brutal environment it does take a while. And this is one build that does rely very, very heavily on um, on its uh, tier two and all, but um, we're we're going to get there. So we got a nice choke point here for working for us, and let's see, we got the hero storm incoming here. I, I probably see this as the most problematic chunk. So let's do one thing. Oh, s oh no, not again! Oh, I bet they all. Yeah, yeah, they they all have one. Oh, this is so stupid. It's happening again. Triumph really needs to fix this. This is so annoying. I've seen that before, and here it is again. Every one of these guys has a freaking wand of blizzards. This is stupid, Triumph. Please, please fix that. You know, this, I mean, okay, it creates pressure. It, it creates a threat on the enemy side, but it is more than stupid to see the exact same items on all of these guys. All right, brand over. So that makes everything a lot more dangerous, by the way, too, because these blokes, they can just now nuke the hell out of my armies. I hate this so much. I had this before, and I, I lost an entire battle because I was oblivious of this, and uh, you guys probably will do so too when you meet it for the first time. It's just nonsense. Balance out these items, please. It's beyond stupid to have the same item on every one of these blokes. Alright, I, I, I wanted to stop with this, I'm sorry. So, let's fall back one more um, uh, one more grid, and I hope that the AI will now um, over... Um, overstress themselves somehow. So one of the most important things now is that we need to break into the clusters where the where a high density of heroes is at because these are extremely deadly now with their um with their um ability to just nuke the hell out of my face basically so we're going to achieve that quite simply by slapping the combat summons into their faces again it's uh, just a very cheesy way of achieving things but i don't care the ai is cheesing me too so <laughs> And I, I just want to uh, mention how, let's see, ah, well, it's not clearly visible, but the, the heroes clearly positioned themselves to, to get that thing off. So, we're stepping again a tad bit back with the majority of war troops, so that the uh, nuke will most likely just hit unimportant parts of my army. I hope that this will work out as I as I want it to. I really hope that this uh, does not stay a thing. I I really hate this mechanic so much. If, I, if, if you if, if you even can call it like that. It's just like a, I would rather call it a noob trap in all honesty because that's how it works. You get cheesed by that once and then you you grow paranoid, very very much so, and then you just uh, try to to nuke them before they nuke you. That's basically how it works then. And I I don't like that. I, I just uh, outright don't like that. Uh, it's, it just feels stupid. I am also unable to get that many copies of an item. So why should the AI? This is uh, very, very unfun. Uh, I want to stop ranting about it. But um, 
I only I, I'm I'm just so so very very afraid of what's going to happen next turn. That's it. So, well, let's put some uh, some people to uh, to get destroyed up front. <laughs> that always helps. Probably a dark knight inside in there too. Okay, so. Alright. I'm scared now. I'm very, very scared now. So we can. Oh, we have that spur to action thingy still open. Alright. But you can use that only once per battle, so I think it's it's okay to not have used it this turn. But we totally should get our uh, combat summons on the field here. Okay. Well, I don't want to use my web skill anyways. But I want to get some clear shot here. Because this is where we can just uh, give them a nice slap on the wrist. So... This is also a nice provocation for the AI to just slap all all their support skills on relatively unimportant uh, units. I hope that this will work out after all. Okay, this is my Houndmaster. Well, let's see if he can get a shot in. Yes, he does. Beautiful. All right. So far, so good. I mean, if anybody should die, we have a resurrection spell open, so... Yeah, here here go the uh, Wands of Blizzards. So, they're buffing the hell out of this wing of the army. I'll let them. So, let's see how the... I'm most concerned about this flank of the uh, hero park. Alright, that was an absolutely useless nuke. Alright, beautiful. You can provoke the AI to uh, misuse those skills as hard as possible. It's a very unfun way to pull it off, but you know, you gotta work with what you got. Okay, looks like uh, this turn is somehow survived. Beautiful. Now we need to begin killing stuff to actually start winning this fight. So, well, we're uh, we're going to slap out the Call of the Wild a third time, so we are now currently at maximum critical hit potential. So, let's see what we can uh, get out of this. We're going to start a nuke here. Nuki nuki. And I think we need an Unleash the Beast on this beautiful little doggo. Come on. Nah, still not quite there yet. So, well... Since I don't expect to be able to kill off the hero of this turn... Here it goes. Bam. And with Killing Momentum, I'm able to reach that hero. Perfect. Just what I wanted to say. Okay, let's see, how far can we take it? So, I really want to try if we can't just kill that guy here. So, let's see. Ah, it doesn't look too well. If I move that spider away, I'm losing a strategic advantage. I think we should be rather focusing on, on this guy here. Hmm? So, let's see. Oh, there's a web spit in. Well, but that's not really beneficial for me. Anyways, I'll I'll decide about this a tad bit later. I always love to delay uh, decisions like these. It's my favorite uh, way to go on with problems like these. Oh, I have no clue how to solve this uh, solute suit, how to resolve this uh, situation. Let's just procrastinate it until later. So, hmm. Our archers are doing the heavy lifting here. I mean, archers got nerfed, but they're still powerful, as we see. 
Although I gotta say, the mounted archers are just beyond crazy in their uh, in their power. Bam! Have a knight in your face. Good old. So we're starting to shave away on their morale. You know, that's something that always is uh, happening when when you're fighting fights like these. So, I could close on into their leader. Mm -hmm. Tough decision. So, let's see. Let's hurt that little guy a little bit more. Oh, I still have my dragon up. But uh, my little dragon is Every ah, well, no, there's uh, no chance that anything productive will come out of this. But I still have spur to action open available here. Come on, let's make something good out of that. So, and there's uh, how procrastination can sometimes save the day. So this uh, Infernal Hound still has all the buffs in the world on himself up and running. So spur to action, my little boy. And let's also make him regenerate so he's a little bit stronger. And oh yeah. We almost got him now. And there goes. I don't care about the retaliation blow. Downed hero is a downed hero. That's very bad for the morale. So I'm going to accept that blow in my face here. As long as I have the hero bound. This is, um, you know, it's a throwaway unit after all. And to me, currently, it's way more important that the enemy hero is not capable of just moving as he slash she wants to. By the way, you guys are awesome. War. So, oh man, I really would love to take out the, the Archer um, squadron here, but I don't know. Yeah, well, let's do this. Taking out a stack is always worth it, I think. Let's put the Vampire Spider Matriarch in front here and let's just let her... So, who wants a regeneration? Well, let's say you... I want to keep my arches. So, I cannot flash in. So... Let's see. Mm. Yeah, why not? Let's head on over to this flank and just uh, do some smacking. Okay, looking good so far. Let's see how many blizzard wands will crash down on me now. That's one. That's one dead throwaway unit, but it looks like I have successfully um, saved myself from the reign of uh, BS. Seriously, if anybody from the development team ever would see this. Seriously, I hate the fact that enemy heroes have all the same items. This is stupid. This is so unfun. Give them a mixture of items, by all means. Jeez, ain't that hard, isn't it? Alright, so, let's see. But we're currently winning it, so I'm happy. We're gonna nuke that hero, because, you know, right now, the heroes are the biggest delicacy on the plate, mostly because you gotta note that every slaughter, uh, slaughtered hero here is 150 knowledge. So the enemy is now trying to flee. We're, uh, we're going to accept that. I I could have now uh, tried to hunt down the enemy heroes and whatnot, but, uh, you know, for the sake of airing time, I don't. So we, we have a pretty uh, good first approach on these, don't we? We haven't lost a single unit. I'm very proud of myself that I pulled this off. And uh, let's see. I mean, we still got painstaking uh, three turns in front of us. I really dislike the fact that this is now a unjustified war, but whatever. <sighs> I, don't really, I don't really care. It sucks that we have a little bit less Imperium income, but eh, it's not the end of the world. So... It's tier 3 time, and of course, Tome of Vigor, that's where we want to be at, you know. It's just full of goodness for us. It's just full of goodness for the us. Power so, Empowered Beasts, 
Yes. Super Grove. Yes. Bind Gold and Ancient Wonder. So I have to research that spell. Let's see. It's granting me 30 knowledge for a uh, Ancient Wonder spell. I really hope they don't keep it like that. It's so stupid that you have to research that. I I really don't like that. All right, let's start with Empowered Beasts. As much as I'm tempted to go for a Summon Greater Animal, one thing at a time. I have just discovered Reveler's Heart. This will eat up a substantial amount of my mana. And, uh, yeah. So, we got our supporters now. Nice. And, uh, well, there's one danger to be aware of. When you are trying to restock your armies like here try to keep them away from the enemy lines that's very very important otherwise the ai will use the single unit to uh, jump start an attack on you so we got now animal handler this is such an amazing skill and i want to have that now on all of my troop clusters where i can because now Plus two magical resistance on all of my cavalry units. It's just so good. Your Dark Knights grow so powerful with this build, as do your summon animal units. Of course. But, um, yeah. Let's see. I'm a little bit concerned about the fact that they uh, field Iron Golems. Iron Golems are really no small issue. They are among the most overpowered units, in my humble opinion, the game has in store, so I gotta be careful around these. So I'm going to retire the Houndmaster. I don't need him that badly in this uh, part of the uh, roster anymore, and uh, I think the Scald just adds in way more utility. Way, way more utility. And look at who made it back out alive. So, there we go. We also got now a nice chunk of money. So, let's see. Lock Soul. I want to have Lock Soul expanded like that here too. And uh, we're going to put this up like that. Knight Ford has... Yeah, we want that academy. Now let's see, is there anything I find mandatory right now? But I I highly doubt it right now. Teleporter provinces are something I really want to get going as soon as possible, but I think we don't need that battle right now. I yeah, where are we going to go onto Master Masons? Timing couldn't have been worse. I mean I just literally have uh, locked in uh, most of the work orders for this turn and now i decide to make the uh, buildings cheaper but you know it is as it is all right my friend so that's the end of today's episode i hope they're not going to attack me here so i have to start next episode with that combat and yeah we're we're going to have some jolly good fun here i hope that mole man can be stopped I, I am somewhat concerned that we're, we're going to see some invasions on our own home turf here. That's probably the one thing I'm most concerned about right now. But maybe Mole Man is willing to make peace with me after I have taken Gold Bank and Strongwall. I don't know. We're going to see what of these things will work out in the next episode so far thanks for watching i think we're pretty well dominating the uh, brutal gameplay here it's turn 50 and we're spanking the uh ai quite good but you know we will see about that it's industrious and i personally see industrious ai as one of the most vulnerable ones so if you're free to leave me a thumbs up or subscribe and if you want to check out this playlist from the get-go playlist link is down below and there is the entire brutal gameplay session from the beginning so see you guys next time and have a wonderful day